Like Rich told me he wasn't gonna be able to make it today. Um a little small group. Regardless. Which is even assuming we have topics for today, because I actually don't know if I have anything. Yeah, I'm not sure I had anything right now, actually. I think the thing I would have talked about today is what we talked about yesterday and talked enough about this. Well, wait another minute or so, see if like Brendo joins or something, if he has anything. But if not, we might just end up ending after a few minutes. Sorry, my uh, headphones weren't working. Uh, you were talking and I was in the other room and I have no idea what you said except oh. Brendo something. I, I was saying I don't think, know if I have any topics for this week, and so um, if yeah, if it's just I'll the two of us, I, I I agree. We we probably don't need to discuss more async IO. Yeah, I was saying like, oh, that would have been today's topic if I had we not already talked about that for long yesterday. Um, yeah, we're probably good there. And then I said I'll wait a minute to see if Redo joins, and if he has a topic, we can talk about it. If not, we maybe just end. And I also said I don't okay. know right in here. either uh, Mike Fritz said he wasn't going to be able to be here. He has a conflict. Okay. Uh, just just remind me. This is the last week we'll be using blue jeans, right? Yes, that's true. Because it's going to okay. be shut down, I think, as of April first. Um, so I'll should... need to change the meeting in the calendar. But it should just become the room we're using for the stand up. Um, there was an email thread okay. talking about how to do the recordings and stuff, and I think we talked a little bit of the CLT call last week. But I I missed the CLT call last week. Um, I don't know okay. if we're going to do that stuff yet. So I think first week we probably without a recording but uh well it's yeah i, I just have time. the uh calendar invites copied to my personal calendar but they're copies so if you make a change i won't necessarily see it i'm just reminding myself kind of yeah uh, i think i had mentioned that. that last week um that i can change yeah. the one in the community calendar but i can't change the one of people's personal calendars so um right be a bit aware of that but i mean i think you, i mean i guess i think if you click the link next week you will like get like a it just won't work going Good down, point. I think it is. So at least people will be like, oh, there's something wrong. It's not just that there's no yeah, game for, or something. Verizon slash blue jeans isn't going to want a bunch of people on that aren't paying. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, yeah, so I'll try to change the community one, and then people can re redo it after. Pretty much as soon as this one's over, there's no reason to leave it on the blue jeans meeting. Um, so I'll try to adjust it later today, and then uh, people can mm -hmm. try to recopy it or something. Works for me. Yeah, I'll tell you. Hopefully tomorrow I'll hear a little bit about the recording of stuff. Um, I think there was an email about it as well. Thread they were going over how to do that, yeah. but I don't remember where it is. Oh, I do kind of have a quasi topic. I was just reading the mailing list, and it sounds like um, some people are pushing back a little bit against that bundle all the Python stuff into the main RPM. Um, Get who it was, but is it uh, that Seth Manager dashboard Python dependencies a new approach thread? Yes, that thread. So there are a bunch of recent replies. That's my read. That was Casey like, Bodley, I think, was the person kind of saying, "Well, why don't why don't we do it the normal way?" Which is kind of what I think I had said to you, but in a more defeated. <laughs> I don't want to put any energy into arguing against it, but. Um, yeah. Was he pushing for uh, pushing the packages to Apple or something? Yeah, exactly. And then there was also a reply from Caleb with more technical details about the process. And, you know, you're not supposed to put things in Apple if they're already in RHEL, but I don't understand the process very well. So I don't know why Steph would have, why there might be RPMs in RHEL that don't appear in CentOS. If that's what the problem is, I don't understand why that would happen. But maybe I'm misinterpreting the, the issue. Yeah, I don't know how they would have gotten there um, without ever having been in that one. Yeah, but anyway, I just wanted to mention that to you because I know we had discussed it at least over email and a little in person, and uh, there was some more activity on that thread today, yesterday. All right. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll have to read through that email thread a bit more later, see what's going on. I said I probably still won't get involved in it, but uh, yeah, just to see what's happening. Yeah, same. It's one of those, uh, while I, I have a preference 
uh, I remember in the Python community, I don't know if they still do this, but they used to have plus one, minus one, and plus zero, and minus zero, and plus zero, minus zero were basically like, I like it, but I won't advocate for it, and minus zero was like, I don't like it, but I won't spend any energy fighting it. So I'm kind of minus zero on the bundling. Um, I don't care for it, but I don't have, the, you know, any... Um, I can't, I can't think of a good way to put it. I don't have the energy or, or care to, to oppose or argue against it. Yeah, when you described it before, it sounded like it was almost, um, I don't know, it's a hard issue to sort of explain why you don't like it, because it's more of a, yeah. this is just sort of the wrong way of doing it, but there's no direct consequences. Yeah, it's it's definitely like a taste, it's, there's definitely a taste aspect to it. I, I like, what it is, is I think it's a little bit more work to do it the clean way, but I think it's more sustainable long term, but it's, it's hard for me to explain why. Yeah. I sort of and the bundling that. thing is you can kind of make it a little less painful by kind of semi-debundling by using, by in your RPM saying like, oh, make a sub package, like a sub RPM, like Ceph dash extra Python dependencies. But at that point, you're starting to move back towards the other approach anyway. So it's kind of like, mm. yeah. I just want to see, I said I haven't read the thread yet, but to see why I guess they think we can't get yeah. this stuff at all, because they think that was the normal way to do this before. Yeah. Um, well, Ken's definitely in that thread seems open to doing some of the work, so I don't know what the, the major uh, stoppage points are. I guess the other issue for the people who want to do the bundling is if they use pip, they can get the latest version of a package instead of one that is what's in Apple or which would be Fedora. So they still get to bypass some of that versioning, but yeah. Then you yeah. have a new problem, which is you're running something unique to yourself and no one else in the world is using that particular version. Yeah, I do know the dashboard team tends to like using some of the newer stuff. Um, yeah. Whereas CephIDM, I think, is a bit more limited on what we do for dependencies. Right. Maybe the exception of async SSH, but I think it's still being done through a Kafka repo. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, anyway, I just, I didn't even need to discuss it that much. I just wanted to point that out to you. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely read the email thread. I hadn't read through it since, I don't know, a week or two ago. I saw a couple of the messages there. I didn't realize. It looks like there's more messages than I, I thought. Yeah. I guess it's because a lot of them are in the last 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I said before, um, don't really have any topics. It doesn't seem like Proto's here. And we're 10 minutes in, so I don't have anything. Yep, works for me. I just have a bunch of silly stuff to do, and then I'm uh, out of the office in the afternoon. So it'll be a not particularly productive day. All right. Yeah, well, in that case, uh, we'll just end it here. So, yeah, see you later. All right. Bye-bye.